Maximizing Price Stability in a Monetary Economy by Warren Mosler and Damiano Silipo. Section 3A. Volatility. Four buffer stock options were selected, gold, silver, corn, and hourly labor. Additionally, we included data from the Commodity Research Bureau, CRB, index, a combination of numerous commodities for general background information. The first three commodities were selected because they have been used historically, and gold has been the object of more recent proposals as well, including proposals to return to a gold standard. The fourth, an employed labor buffer stock, is a derivative of our current policy of utilizing unemployment as a buffer stock, which will be used as a basis of comparison after the analysis of the four options selected. The table below displays measures of volatility of the buffer stock options. Table 1 reports the average annual price change of gold, silver, and corn. In addition, there is the average annual change of a price index of selected commodities monitored by the CRB. We display this index as representative of an example of how the price of a basket of commodities fluctuates over time. Finally, we present the average annual change in hourly earnings, AHE, of production and non-supervisory employees, provided by the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. The price change of the commodities does appear less severe than gold, corn, or silver. However, the annual changes range from over plus 35 percent to approximately negative 25 percent. The, hour, the average hourly earnings display far lower volatility than the metals or commodities. The year-over-year -year change has fluctuated from a low of about 1.5 percent to a high of just over 4 percent since 2000, and only once went to just over 9 percent in the early 1980s. With a buffer stock policy, the nominal price of the buffer stock is, de is defined by the state. And in our proposal, it would be defined by the ECB per its mandate for price stability as specified in the Maastricht Criteria Treaty in the Maastricht Treaty. Subsequently, market forces result in other prices continuously reflecting indifference levels that express relative value with regard to the value of the buffer stock. Likewise, with the nominal price of the buffer stock fixed, any change in the relative value of the buffer stock itself is expressed as a change in the nominal price level of all other prices. Therefore, the lower the price volatility of the selected buffer stock in the current policy, the greater the expected general price stability when the price of that buffer stock is, in our proposal, fixed by the ECB. On this basis, the employed labor buffer stock is clearly superior.